So the FJ40 arrived about a week ago here. So this is a restoration project that I'm just getting started with. And I wanted to make a short video to do a kind of a walk around of how everything was as it arrived. It's actually really complete. This is a 71 FJ40 Land Cruiser. Has about 80,000 miles on it. Uh, belonged to my uncle Ed who used it for elk hunting and not much else. Um, I think he might be the second owner and this is probably the third one now. Uh, you can see the paint's pretty much shot but it's really complete. Uh, it was running when it was parked in oh, 2006 or 2007 something like that. And this is a 71 which still has the original F motor in it. It changed I think in 72 something like that. It has uh, actually the newer dual uh, dual zone brakes has a power uh, power brake, which is kind of a nice thing to have in a four wheel drive. Yeah, let me walk through here and pick up the vehicle identification tag because I think I'm going to need it later for getting parts. I'm not sure about these seats. They might be aftermarket seats. They've got recliners in them. They might be original. I have to look into that. Um, let's see. 82,070 miles. Um, had probably added this temperature gauge and tachometer. Uh, I think the previous owner added things like that 12 volt adapter. It has the uh, passenger heater, which is actually a really uh, sought-after thing that collectors like to see in Land Cruisers. And like all Land Cruisers, the headliner is completely shot. Looks like it used to have a roof vent that's been removed. Let me close this door again. Um, like all Land Cruisers, it's got a little bit of rust in the usual places, but less than I would have expected. So these sills always get rusty, but it's actually not bad. I've seen a lot worse. This back corner here is famous for getting rusty. And there is rust here. But not bad, not bad. There's some rust along this rear thing here. I'm gonna take this, oh it has the spare tire carrier which people like to see too bit more rust over here. Um, real surprise is how good a shape these uh, doors are. The Dutch doors because they're famous for getting rusty and these look really really good. A new set if you can find them is you know off of a vehicle maybe three or four hundred dollars nowadays. Got the jump seats, they're out of the vehicle or they're disconnected right now, but people like to see those jump seats. And again, this is as is, I haven't done anything with it just yet. First project is to get it running. Oh, it has an auxiliary fuel tank too, which is not currently connected. A little more rust right here. Not too much up here. Um, still has the mirrors. Those are usually broken off or often broken off. The top is a little bit distressed from being in the sun and the gutters are rusty from having a lot of water sitting in them. That'll need work. I imagine these seals are shot. It looks to me like it's been painted once the same color. It's originally red here as you can see. But I see signs of overspray from when the when it was repainted on the on the rubber. All the door seals, of course, are shot. And there you go. I'm gonna post this on YouTube and maybe start uh, start a record of the restoration project. First step here for me is to see if I can get it running. Um, it sat for about 10 years, so the carburetor is full of gunk. And the uh, rebuild kit arrives in a couple of days. I'll take care of that. 
I'm going to put a new battery in it and see where we are with the ignition. I'll do a compression to make sure what's still got adequate compression. If the ignition and compression and carburetor are going, it should start up and run. And uh, thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.